Mildred, lend me a dime for the dryer. Oh, sure. Would you mind? <laughs> Thanks. You say you're having trouble with Herman, Mildred? Oh, not Herman. Herman's shirts. Would you mind? Mm -hmm. That dirt on the collar. My detergent and bleach just can't get it out. Oh, you must be using a weak bleach. Mm -hmm. To get out dirt like that, you should add Clorox. Here, look at George's shirt. Clorox adds cleaning power that gets out dirt, detergents, and weak bleaches leave in. <laughs> and Clorox works just as well on pillowcases, socks, towels, everything. So, you know, this Clorox bleach is a real... Really, mister? This is a private conversation. Yeah, well, I would... Remember, the added cleaning power of Clorox gets out dirt, detergents, and weak bleaches leave in. who has ever seen a science fiction movie. Thrilled to the amazing strength of an out-of-this-world movie monster comes Great Garlu by Marx. Garlu the Mighty. Garlu the Untamed. Garlu the Terrible. Who can stop him? Who can control this monstrous creature? You can, kids, because Great Garlu by Marx is yours to command. With these battery-operated controls, you can make Garlu go. Stop, bend, pick up, turn. Yes, Great Garlu, almost two feet tall, will be your faithful servant. You name it, you're the boss. Bring out-of-this-world excitement into your house, kids. Own the most fantastic toy of all. Great Garlu by Marx. M A R X spells Marx, world's largest toy maker. Here, mini Chef Bubba. And now let's get our ingredients. We'll give you a minute or two to get your paper and pencil because it's time for the ingredients. We have ourselves a nice olive oil. Yes, exactly. Olive oil. You need olive oil. And we're going to use one tablespoon and then we got a nice onion oh it looks like a stewie from family guy's head that's an onion and what we're gonna do we're gonna chop it up we're gonna chop it up real good chop it chop 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 oh my favorite my favorite ingredient garlic you get a one clove and you gotta mince it that's right mince it yeah, exactly so when you get done it tastes like a mint i guess that's what they mean Okay, next ingredient. You get uh, one teaspoon of the ground cumin. That's right. She'll be cumin round the mountain when she comes. All right. And then you get you get one medium bell of pepper. We're going to chop it up, but not so fine. It's kind of coarse-like. And then we're going to add a little later on one tablespoon of oh, the chili powder. That's right, get your jacket on, because get a little chilly in here when we put the powder in. And then we're going to put just a little bit, just a little, 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 little dab of the chili oil. Oh, that's going to make it some spicy, some spicy lasagna. And then, uh, next ingredient, whole kernel corn, whole kernel corn. That's a tough one for Chef Antonio to say. We're going to end up using one cup of this, or approximately 16 ounces. And then the same thing, we're going to use a whole can of the red kidney beans. We're going to drain out all the liquid first. And you could use like a pinto beans, whatever beans you like. 
I go away to get it. I go away to with the red kidney beans. I like the beans. Yeah, now our last can of goods, we take a tomato paste. I got the no salt. I got the no salt. And we're going to use, again, one cup of the tomato paste. No, excuse me. Tomato sauce. Oh, Chef Antonio, you think of last week's menu. Okay. Now, we also need corn tortillas. They got approximately the smaller size, like a seven inch tortilla. And we're going to end up needing six of them for our recipe, but you usually get like a tan in a package. You save it the other four for later. Oh, by the way, you know, there's a red pepper, a yellow pepper. Uh, this is a green pepper. I think this variety is known as the Sergeant Pepper. And now, back to the ingredients. After the tortillas, and back to the pepper. Back to the tortillas. We need, oh, like a low-fat cottage cheese. That's right. We're going to use one cup of that, too. One cup of low-fat cottage cheese. We're going to add our own fat. And then also we got a cheddar cheese. Oh, we're going to use a cup of that too. So we have, these are the ingredients. Write them all down. And the next step, we show you how to make it. Make it vegetarian, Mexican lasagna. Hey, 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 hey. La, 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 if you've ever been to Venice, you remember the gondolas and the picturesque waterways. And you remember the food, too. Superb food, prepared with that very special Italian touch. The same special Italian touch that Chef Boyardee sauce with meat can give to your meals over here. Because the recipe for this tangy sauce has been brought over from Italy by this famous Italian chef. Chef Boyardee sauce with meat is made from juicy, sun-ripened tomatoes and tender, quality beef, simmered in a spicy sauce that makes a rice and cheese loaf, a casserole, or a spaghetti dish a real Italian-style dish. So when you'd like to add that special Italian touch to your dinner, do it with Chef Boyardee sauce with meat. Try Chef Boyardee sauce with mushrooms, too. Both are prepared from the chef's own Italian recipe. This is Chef Antonio with Mini Chef Bob and Noel and the dog with the treats. Now the first thing we do, we had a little bit of a problem with the film, so we're going to just talk you through what we did. Hello, look at my fingers. Magic fingers. We had a, a skillet. And we heat it up, medium high heat, and we put the oil in. La 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 la, there goes the oil. When that gets a nice and a hot, then we put in the peppers, the onions, and the garlic. And for five minutes, we stir. Oh, we stir. Oh, we stir. Oh, we stir. And that takes us to the next video. Oh, boy. I mess up. Otherwise, you could have seen me do it. I did it really good. But now you just got to put it in your imagination. Oh, he's cooking now. Even though there's nothing in the pan. Nothing in the pan. But he's a cooking. Ah, oh, and once everything is a cooking, this is what happens. Boy, I should need I should need somebody to help me film. Everything is cooking good. We got like a three minutes and forty six seconds left. Oh all right. We got about three minutes left. Spread everything out. We want everything to cook and nice. I gotta apologize. I'm, I'm trying to film while I'm also trying to cook. Not too smart. We got about two minutes left. I hope you're having a nice day. It's gonna be so good. Vegetarian, no meat.
Oh, yes. I know you're seeing the steam, but if you could smell what I smell, oh my goodness. Like about 15 minutes ago, I changed it to cat litter. Oh, if you could have smelled what I smelled then, oh my goodness. But I want to know, in the COVID times, Chef Antonio wash up really good before he cooks. You always want to cook, keep your nice and clean your hand. Clean the silverware, clean the plate, clean the everything. Alright, we're down to the final minute now. Oh boy, this is going to be some crazy stuff. Yeah, I'm going to have to put the, the phone on the pause for just a few seconds now. What we're going to do in about a half a minute here, we're going to add the cumin, the chili powder, just a little, 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 little bit of oil, chili oil. And we're then we're going to cook it at one minute. As soon as we hear the bell, we're going to, we, yeah, we're going to come out like a prize fighter. Oh, the sergeant peppers are looking so good. Take it down a little bit on the tempest. All right, we're gonna pop, we're gonna add up our ingredients. Now. We're back now. Okay, now what we're gonna do? We're gonna mix it all up. We gotta mix it, mix it, mix it. I got to put the phone down now. Okay, now we, we remove it from the heat, and now we're going to add the corn, the beans, and the tomato sauce. Hold on to one second. All right, now what we've done is we've done mixed in the corn, and we mixed in the beans, and we mixed in the tomato sauce. We, we stir it up for a couple minutes. We cover it up, take it off of the heat. No more heat, no more heat. Okay. Now, what we're going to do now, we're going to put on the bottom here, three of our tortillas and cover up the bottom. Now, one of the things, one of the things when you a chef, sometimes you got to like a shoot from the hip. So we put a four down. And now, what we're going to do now, we're going to take this and put half of this on top of that. Mmm, that's a looking good. Now, what we're going to do? We're going to put half of the cottage cheese on top of that. Yeah, the half of the cottage cheese, it should go on top. It's so sweet. It's like a de mozzarella. Now we're going to put half of the cheese on top of that. And then we're going to repeat it. Same thing. And that's a half of the cheese. Now we're going to repeat. So now we go one more layer of the tortillas. And now we get out our, our mix. Now we put the mix on the top. Oh, she looks so good. Now we're going to put... The second half of the cottage cheese on the top of that. Oh, it's getting so good. Oh, the, the cottage cheese shall make it look like, like, a, like a ricotta cheese. That's why it's called the lasagna. I said mozzarella. I meant ricotta. Ricotta start the whole video over. Ha ha. Okay, now we put the rest of the cheesy on top. Make it cheesy, cheesy, cheesy. We sure like it to pleasey. Oh, Chef Antonio, maybe he cheated a little bit. He put a little bit extra cheesy there than they were calling for. Because I like the cheese. Oh, boy. Uh, some a day, some are going to say, oh, the cheese. That was his downfall. But you know what? I, if I go down with the cheese, I go down with a smiley. Okay. Now, the next thing we do, we're going to put this uncovered in the microwave for 10 to 15 minutes when we see the cheesy melting. Uncovered in the microwave. So you got to make sure your bowl or your glass is microwave safe. Safe, that's right. The, the batter is sliding to the plate. He's safe. Oh, look it. She's a spinning. Oh, it's like, a, like the 60s. Oh, ball of confusion. So we're going to check it back in about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And when the cheesy melt, then we take it out. And we let it sit for five minutes. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to eat. Okay. We're almost ready to check on her. That'll be ten minutes. Now, while we, this was a cooking, what we were doing was we was cleaning all of our equipment. 
That's right. Our, all the stuff we did. So it's nice clean the kitchen. When we sit down to eat. Oh, we got nothing else to do. But just gain the weight. All right. One minute left. Then we're going to check. What we're gonna do, we're gonna give her one more minute and then we'll come back. Yeah, one more minute. Oh, she's a spinning. Look at she's a spinning. I like it. That. Like a, the one time a chef Antonio had a too much of wine. I was a spinning too. Woohoo! Okay. So now what we gotta do, we got to go. We got to go. There's Martha. Martha. Martha, you think you're going to get some leftovers or some uh, Chef Antonio's of food? You better, you bet, you but you're going to get some. Martha, Martha. Okay. We got a oven mitts. Oh, Papa. My Papa. He give me these oven mitts. The hot chilies. Okay, 15 seconds. We're going to take her out. We're going to put her on the counter. Hey, everybody, count it down. Six, a five, a four, a three, a two, a one. Oh, the best sound in the world to a chef. Oh, she's a bubbly. So is in my stomach. Look at that. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's good stuff. Oh, I'm starting to drool. Okay, let me put it down because I need two hands to handle this a whopper. Okay, now she's going to sit for five minutes, and then we're going to get a plate, something to drink, and we're going to manja, manja, giste, a boom. Yes, i see you in five minutes. But don't go nowhere. Chef Antonio got lots of surprises. While we're waiting, Chef Antonio is going to tell you about next show. It'll be September 15th. Provided there are no hurricanes in the Florida, we're going to have a Slovak dish dedicated to Mary Vosil and Emma Urban, my grandma. It's just the old comfort food, the comfort, make you feel good when times are tough. And it's not, it's easy to make, uh, easy to, easy, not too expensive. It's called noodles and cottage cheese. Oh, my goodness, you're going to, you're going to just jump out of bed wanting to make some. And not only that, we're going to go on the road. We're going to go to Stewart, Florida, where we're going to be joined by Chef Contessa Maria is going to help us with that. That's right. She has made this before. I tell you what, I just, again, I nearly jumped out of my skin. That would be September 15th, Slovak, noodles and cottage cheese. With a special guest star on the road, Chef Maria Contessa. And if you're lucky, maybe we see her kitty cat, whose name is Mahi. All right, next thing, three minutes, we gonna eat! Okay, we're down to the final uh, few seconds. Oh, there's Zula, the cat. Hello, Zula. She's uh, probably waiting. Hello, Zula, how are you? Oh... Got a plate. I don't know whether to eat it with a fork or a, or a spoon, so we got both. And today's drink is still the best. The Waterloo, but today, the strawberry. But today's meal, since it was a vegetarian, is dedicated to my cousin. Very talented, an artist, a teacher, a mentor to many, Margaret de Lima. She's a, one of the most talented women I know. And, and she's my cousin. Hey, cousin. All right. So this meal is dedicated to her. Let's do a little scoopy. And let's eat. Oh, get a scoop. Ah, oh, my sister, she like to take the cheese first. Okay. Oh, look at that. I don't know if I, it might be a little soupy. No, it's not a soupy. Oh, look at that. Layer. Like Kramer when in Seinfeld when he built his apartment. Remember, he used the layers. Oh, mamma mia. Oh, look at this. 
Maybe I should say, Okay, that's enough. I, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use it, a, use it a spoon. All right, here we go. Here's the good stuff. Oh, get a little bit, get a little bit of this. A little, we get a little pepper, a pepper. Ooh, look at this. They make it go crazy. All right, make it taste. Oh, oh my goodness. The peppers are soft. I can taste them. Oh, it's like a smorgasbord of taste. I give it this a, a 10, 10 out of 10. So on behalf of the dog who likes to bark, <coughs> and of course, mini chef Baba and his friend Noel, I say arrivederci, ciao. We see you in a month when we're gonna have the food. We're gonna make the Slovak noodles and the cheese. Hey, up, 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 up. la, 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 la. Noodles and the cottage cheese on September 15th. Girls, I'd like to show you this wonderful Mary Hartline magic doll that the Kellogg folks have for you. See? She looks just like me. She's made out of sturdy plastic board, one inch of an inch thick, stands nine inches high in her own plastic stand, and she comes in true to life color. But the most wonderful thing about this magic doll is she really is magic. You just cut out one of these cute costumes, slide it back and forth a couple of times like this, and the costume will stick right on magically. No tap, no paste. And with the magic doll, you get ten beautiful true color outfits. Everything from shorts to a beautiful pink formal. Why, even two of my own super circus costumes. And kids, you can get this terrific Mary Hartline magic doll just by sending in 25 cents in coin and a box top from Kellogg Sugar Smacks or Kellogg Sugar Frosted Flakes. Use the handy order blank on the package or send direct to Mary Hartline Doll, Box 313, Battle Creek, Michigan. That's Mary Hartline Magic Doll, Box 313, Battle Creek, Michigan. That's the prettiest cutout doll ever and such fun to play with. So send for your Mary Hartline Magic Doll right away. <laughs> 